Hi, my name is Deacon Jim, and this is St. Bernadette in South Los Angeles. Today is Saturday, February 3rd, and we celebrate the feast day of two saints, St. Saint Blaise, bishop and martyr, and St. Angsgar, bishop. But let us begin, as we always begin, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, as we begin our celebration, let us praise our merciful God. Lord Jesus, you came to seek out those who were lost. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to give your life for the sake of all. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You came to gather into one family your scattered children. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. Hear, O oh Lord, the supplications your people make under the patronage of martyr St. Blaise, and grant that they may rejoice in peace in this present life and find help for life eternal. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And let us come together as we break open the scripture. A reading from the first book of Kings. Solomon went to Gideon to sacrifice there because that was the most renowned high place. Upon its altar, Solomon offered a thousand burnt offerings. In Gideon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream at night. God said, ask something of me and I will give it to you. Solomon answered, you have shown great favor to your servant, my father David because he behaved faithfully toward you with justice and an upright heart. And you have continued this great favor toward, me, toward him even today and seating a son of his on his throne. O Lord my God, you have made me your servant, king to succeed my father David. But I am a mere youth, not knowing at all how to act. I serve you in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a people so vast that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon made his this request. So God said to him, because you have asked for this, not for a long life for yourself, nor for riches, nor for the life of your enemies, but for understanding, so that you may know what is right. I do as you have requested. I give you a heart so wise and understanding that there has never been anyone like you up to now. And after you, there will come no one to equal you. In addition, I give you what you have not asked for, such riches and glory that among kings there is not your like. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm is, The Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. How shall a young man be faultless in his way? By keeping to your words. Lord, teach me your statutes. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, teach me your statutes. Within my heart, I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Lord, teach me your statutes. Within my heart, I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips, I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. Lord, teach me your statutes. In the way of your decrees, I rejoice as much as in all riches. Lord, teach me your statutes. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow. Alleluia, alleluia. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. 
He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers, and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving, and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot from all the towns and arrived at the place before them. When Jesus disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the feast day of two saints, St. Saint Blaise, bishop and martyr, and St. Ansgar, bishop. Blaise was an early 4th century bishop and at Sebasti in Armenia. In the Middle Ages, his cult spread throughout the church, especially to France and Germany. Tapers brought to him in prison and his patronage to sore throat sufferers, sufferers are united in the ritual blessing of throats using blessed candles, which is what we do every February 3rd. By the way, as a sidebar, it was the first blessing I ever, re I ever received in the Catholic Church was the Feast of St. Blaise. And I asked my wife, this Protestant kid, what are they doing? <laughs> she said, shut up and get in line. That's become a mantra for these days for me in religion. You know, shut up and get in line. Um, the second saint is St. Angsgar Bishop. He's born in France during the 9th century. Angsgar was educated at the Monastery of Corby. In 1826, he went to Denmark to preach the gospel, but with little result. He had greater success, however, in Sweden. He was elected Bishop of Hamburg and confirmed in the office by Pope Gregory IV. He was also appointed Legate of Denmark and Sweden he had much to endure in his work of evangelization, but met all obstacles with Christian courage. He died in 865. So, one of our early saints, St. Angsgar, bishop. But, leave us go back to our gospel reading today. One of the things that we quite often is we, things, we are gifted in many ways. Each of us is a unique creation of God with a unique set of talents that nobody else has, and weaknesses, by the way. So we're here to put up for a specific purpose with a specific set of skills and gifts. Wisdom's not innate, according to our scripture. It comes from God. When God asked Solomon, what do you desire? Solomon had the chance to ask God for anything. He could have gotten it, and he ended up getting everything, but he, he could have asked him for anything. Yet Solomon has the prudence to know that God's wisdom would provide him with the spiritual riches that he needed for a full life. So that's what he asked for. Solomon could have asked for a long life. He could have asked for wealth. He could have asked for power. All the things that we crave and covet in this world, which would have made him look like a ruler. Instead, he sought what allowed him to share in God's rulership. Very important. Think about that. This is the meaning of dominion in Genesis. We are called to steward the earth in the same way that God stewarded it before us as a just king who promotes fruitfulness and life. That's what we're called to do, not to take from, but to put back. Solomon makes it clear that he prefers the things of God, the king, to the things of human kings. Power, prestige, pleasure, and possessions. The state of his mind and heart are more important to him than the state of his robes or the state of his palace or the car he drives. Will we ask God for a greater share of our own power or for a greater share in his power? Amen. We have opened our hearts and minds to the wisdom of God in the liturgy of the word. Now let us turn to him humbly and sincerely for these common petitions. For our Pope Francis, for our Archbishop Jose, 
for all the pastors, priests, and deacons of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles, that they be given the skills and the blessings they need to lead people to God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the city of Los Angeles. May you give us a guidance and direction as we come out of this pandemic. May it have taught us, most importantly, to love one another a little more. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the members of this parish at St. Bernadette here in Baldwin Hills. We pray that you can continue to give us guidance and direction. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for deacons, especially this deacon, that you may continue to bless us with your ministry and give us as well guidance and direction. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We end, pray for an end of poverty and suffering and misery and healing for all those sick, both those sick bodily, sick of mind, and sick with sin. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers we hold in the silence of our own hearts. For these prayers, and those ent entered into our prayer and petition book, that they may be received and answered by our God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy, God of compassion, we ask you and bless you and thank you for hearing our prayers today. We ask this, all of them, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us come together and pray the prayer our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, and deliver us from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen, amen, and amen. O God, who will descend the Bishop St. Angsgar to enlighten many people, grant us through his intercession that we may always walk in the light of your truth. Isn't that beautiful? What a great prayer. To always walk in the light of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Tonight is vigil, 4 o'clock. Tomorrow Sunday Mass at 10. We'll see you tonight or tomorrow. And then we'll see you back here next week for another Liturgy of the Word. Amen. Have a good day. Bye-bye.